I actually did a self-tape audition every day until today. It's Christmas Eve for me. I totally forgot to take out the little card of the advent calendar, but for December 24th, I had just a recap because I do want to talk about like my experience of doing so many self-tapes during this time, just because you might just see like the auditions and I don't know, think, wow, that's so many, it's so great. Or just like, okay, what's the big deal? Basically, I just want to tell you what I learned from it. 100%, I am so confident that I will finish self-tape May this year because having to choose so many scenes and monologues for this practice made me stop just having the decision paralysis of what scene or monologue should I do for practice because it doesn't really matter I think at least to like break that threshold of doing it so much. After this, like for Self Tape Me, I do want to do more specific scenes and monologues that are closer to what I would like to audition for in TV. Like for example, Abbott Elementary, 100% that's something I wanna do. So working on those type of auditions specifically and also Hallmark movies, Lifetime movies, Christmas movies in general, like I definitely wanna continue to do those. It showed me that I am actually very good at memorizing because sometimes I would just read it a couple of times and be like, oh, wait, I, I have this memory so it just made that process really easy. I think a lot of us, before we start memorizing anything, we're like, oh, I have to go memorize this. But once you're doing it, it's like fine. It, it helped me decrease that procrastination of when you get the script versus starting to memorize it. Cause I was just like, okay, I have it start. Cause I have to, cause I was doing it every day. Just to quickly recap what I was doing. I had a scene or monologue in my advent calendar. I would pick one out and then work on it for 15 minutes. And then when I was ready to do some takes, I typically did between 10 and 20 minutes of different takes and I think within that I was still playing around with it a bit and seeing what felt good or not and because I wanted to make this something that I could realistically do no matter what I didn't want to plan it to like every day at 1 p.m or whatever because it's December and there's a bunch of random things that happen in December family things events you just want to go shopping or do whatever I didn't have a reader for most of it and I do want to have a reader in the future for self-tape practice because that is something that took me out a lot lot is having to play with just a recording of some voice versus actually working with somebody that does a lot for me like having somebody to react to and bounce energies off of for sure recommend doing this in whatever capacity you can um, because this felt a lot like conditioning before I started running long distances it was just like okay every day I'm just gonna run a mile and then eventually that becomes easy running one mile every day doesn't mean that you can just go run a marathon you know in a month it really helps you of like, okay, well, if I can do one, I wonder if I can do two. If I can do two, I wonder if I can do five. And with this self day practice, I practiced memorizing. I practiced getting away from the decision paralysis of choosing a senior monologue to just play around with, figuring out different ways to play things. I also did a few deadpan, which were really helpful. I think I can in the future uh, get even better at that because it felt a lot less awkward towards the end. I think I did deadpan maybe four or five different times. And each time it just felt better because I remember when I got coaching for a deadpan commercial not too long ago, it just felt like so awkward. I didn't know what I was doing. I was in my head so much. It really helped. So everything that I did this time was just like good conditioning to help me improve my self-tape auditions for the future, not only just feeling more confident in my auditions, but also being able to execute them quicker because I do have this practice now of get up and go and go do it versus before it's like, uh, I don't know how I want to do it. I'm not even sure. Should I start recording? Like, yes, I just want to start recording. I want to start playing around with it. And I'm just really excited to start getting auditions in January and um, see what I can book. This Vlogmas idea actually worked. Before I started this, I told my partner, I'm gonna do Vlogmas and they were like, you told me not to let you do it ever again. And I actually did it and it was like there were some days where like oh, I don't want to do this today but for the most part like once I got up and doing it it was really fun so I'm just so happy that I did this and thank you so 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 much for watching this and I hope you have a happy Christmas or whatever you celebrate.